So I wanted to talk a little bit more about some of the circular fluid movements of Tai Chi Chuan. First of all, let me explain one thing. You might have heard the term Tai Chi, and that's it. Okay, well Tai Chi by itself is a form of exercise. So it's all the same things that we do, but there's just no emphasis on the actual application. It's just really good to f get your body moving, to get your blood flowing, just and feel good, feel good about yourself and just feel healthy. So it's a really good exercise. But the chuan, tai chi chuan, the chuan part is the application, is how to turn all that pretty stuff into a good self-defense technique. And so one of those little self-defense techniques I want to talk about is what we call the windmill. So a windmill is very circular. If somebody's throwing a punch, I come across, and I can block my entire body from my head to my groin, all with one movement, one block. It's a circular block. So if somebody's throwing punches, I could just be standing here doing a nice windmill movement and block all of those punches. So it's a good application. Then the windmill strike comes over the top and down and so that would be hitting to the bridge of the nose. And that can really build up a lot of force with that big circular movement. The reverse of that windmill would be to come under, and that would come right up underneath the chin or the nose if they're bent over a little bit. And also a very good self-defense technique. So yes, they use different parts of the hand. You know, we're used to standing here throwing punches or whatever. But sometimes throwing a punch with your fist is going to break your hand, break your knuckle. And this type of movement won't. It's pretty strong. So windmill blocks, good application going right into windmill strike. And that's part of what we do with our Taiji Chuan class at the Hand-to-Hand -hand Combat Training Center in Aiden, Idaho.